So we say that uh, moss can broke, uh, giving evidence of desiccation phase inside the cavity. Mm, a kind of festone, uh, a bit particular, is uh, made of celadonite. Celadonite is uh, a mineral, uh, as we said before, that is formed inside the cavity in basalt and is a very early stage after uh, lava cooling um, alteration of the basalt. So it forms a thin skin uh, around uh, all the cavity, coating the cavity. This uh, green skin of celadonite is uh, mm, very common in, in basaltic deposit and give a, a kind of impermeabilization to further uh, reaction between rock and the silica gel uh, and the calcedony. So this is a, a kind of celadonite festoon, is distinguishable because it is always green and uh, always mm, well compact. Uh, so it uh, fall like a, co a wall piece. So this this is a case uh, when the the, the celadonite fall down, but in many cases it didn't and it stay uh, around the nodule, giving a coating uh, skin uh, of green color. This is the green skin of all the amethyst geodes, and it is very uh, curious in this specimen that we can see the all the uh, festoon of celadonite falling down and this is the basalt of the rock of the, of the agate. So a similar uh, structure is a rolled festoon, so uh, like, uh, like before but more mm, concretely more uh, rounded. No? So this structure is uh, uh, possible to understand if we compare with a mud pond uh, where the grading of the silt of the mud inside of the, the bottom of the pond uh, give uh, that the desiccation, the decreasing in volume is more evident, more high in the upper part. So uh, the upper portion of the sheet is uh, decreasing volume more fast and more strongly than the lower part. So this is the reason because it is rolled. So you, you can make in this way a complete rolled mm, structure. Then if, we, if you cut uh, like in agate, you, you can see a structure like this one. So this structure uh, evidence an episode of desiccation inside the cavity. This is uh, another sample where uh, desiccation uh, occur on the, on the cavity floor, this is the horizontal line, so we, we know that this mm, green deposit uh, have slumped down, so uh, you, you can see that fall down uh, flowing on the slope of the cavity. Uh, another uh, gravity slump is here in a Bacon Hill Haggard where the mm, the horizontal is done by a horizontal banding of the of the agate, but the moss that are fall down from from the upper portion of the cavity that fall down because of dilution, then mm, for the same maybe for the same dilution they fall down along the slope. Okay, we say that uh, uh, the hardening of the nodule start uh, from the filament, from the moss, and in many cases mm, the moss is composed of some mineral, uh, some chloride, chloride family mi mineral or some other mineral. So a structure very common is that mm, uh, around the filament there is a white skin that is a kind of opal, so this means that mm, the uh, polymerization of the silica or the crystallization of the material that is crystallizing mm, is hardening the uh, the gel so the, at the contact with the 
the first handed material the polarization polymerization of the colloidal solution uh, make it possible to uh, to polymerize a skin around all the uh, moss uh, structure so this is the first um, episode of hardening around the the moss this is a very common case and the same stuff is here in tube agate where uh, uh, the the tube is made of chalcedony but inside we see the filament so the filament is made of a kind of mineral in this case is dark but uh, around the filament mm, there is the first polymerization the, uh, that is the first hardening of the chalcedony uh, around the filament then all the material can be filled by hardened chalcedony or the water uh, the, the solution can be drained out so this is the same material the, the same uh, structure uh, tube agate but in this case the uh, the filling of the tube is empty because probably the the filament disappear and uh, have been substituted replaced by calcedon this is a famous deposit of uh, tube moss agate with very long filament bull Kenny in california this is mystery mountain tube agate this kind of tube here is are filled by uh, vertical structure of moss that are something in between uh, stalactite and, and calcedony and botroidal but uh, you see in the center there is some mass of uh, moss falling down uh, same appear here it's not total gravity controlled because you see the parallelism is not so so strong but uh, is from the upper part to, to downward this uh, very famous deposit from Californ California Paul Bellion and here the mm, filament are very thick is like plumes but there is no gravity control here so they form from both side of the of the vein this is a clearly a vein deposit target and uh, there is no gr gravity phenomena and this is a cathedral agat from mexico also in this case the moss are structured in uh, long filament going from the edge of the cavity toward the center and another structure that is often associated with uh, moss is a kind of dot and these are iron dot mm, possibly but because of the color and in some case uh, it's possible to see a lot of iron hematite or graphite inside and they are mm, associated to agate with very high uh, iron content and this like most these dots are hardened before the the uh, chalcedony that is around and it's possible to see this because they can be moved inside in this mm, sample there is dissolution of the chalcedony in this two area and the, mm, the dots are more hardened and can be uh, resedimented at the base of this ca cavity and this kind of dots are uh, a typical structure of opal this is uh, an opal from Queretaro is a fire opal actually is clear is not fire but is from the same deposit and if you look at the mi microscope is cons consisting of um, many many teeny uh, black point of some iron molecule that give the color and um, for this reason we can imagine that this dot form in a very similar colloidal solution this another sample where the moss and the dot are associated a sample from Mongolia and this is a, a deposit from Mexico is a jasper 
but strongly substituted by chalcedony and in this case also we can see associated to dot mm, very metallic manganese dendrite and uh, all these structures are formed floating in clear chalcedony and another kind of uh, typical inclusion in uh, in between moss is uh, psilomelane that is uh, manganese oxide and manganese oxide form uh, some typical deposit with uh, plume and this is a quite structured moss and uh, they grow from both sides of uh, the cavity uh <coughs> and are uh, strongly metallic with a lot of manganese inside and another mineral uh, not so rare in agate is uh, marcasite. Marcasite is famous from two locations, Nipomo in California and another in Mexico, but is um, often found some small spot of marcasite in many other deposits like gravial point and so on. So mm, this is not so rare and this a, a kind of uh, presence of iron inside the agate. During the formation of the moss, there is the possibility to, to have some crystal uh, that uh, uh, are pene contemporaneous, that is, they form at the same time of the moss. Uh, so they are uh, strongly uh, interconnected with the moss uh, at the surface of the moss or, or inside, and this is quite different uh, with sagenite that are pre existing crystals. So this is small calcite crystal, this is probably aragonite, also an aragonite spray, that they are formed inside the moss. So uh, when crystallized um, this uh, amorphous or m microcrystalline material that make the mm, fiber of the moss, so it is, it is possible to grow some other impurity that make real crystal inside the calcedony. And uh, also uh, some of the moss that fall down like stalactite, uh, possibly the, the that one that are more opal-like with opal appearance, they can form at the base a, a kind of jasper. This specimen I show you I show you when I talk about Jasper Gate, but also some other specimens that have nothing to do with Jasper um, can make a small sheet of deposit at the base. This is mustard color stuff. It's more like Jasper than than the Chalcedony because it's opaque. That is the result of the dripping of this moss from the top and in this case from Brazil there is a similar uh, dripping uh, stalactite of moss with an uh, opal appearance that have created at base a, a small pond a small lake of opal material this is uh, a very similar uh, mm, nodule but cut in in the horizontal direction so if we cut uh, a stalactite like this in this way we probably have this kind of structure so this are center of structure pending from the roof with crystals of quartz around it and it's possible also to find different type of inclusion with inside the same nodule inside the same sample here we have almost three material with different color and different uh, structure there is some kind of plume here that grow from the base in this case and are yellow there is a brown material more mossy and there is a black dendrite uh, on the top so uh, this world is quite complex uh, if we look deeply inside but uh, we mm, we can have an idea of the rule that move in this kind of crystallization. So 
if we resume, we can say that the formation of the inclusion in Chalcedony, that are moss or plume, uh, have some steps. Uh, first steps is that water enter in the in the cavity and uh, during the dry season the solution lose water they hydrate uh, and polymerize leaving a thin film of chalcedony that is not hard yet is a colloidal chalcedony that is adhering at the cavity wall so um, if we repeat the, the, the same process we can accumulate um, silica inside the cavity so every year we we make we, we know the, sol the solubility of the silica in a de determinate situation depending on pH and temperature can be uh, between 5 and 10 so the, we can imagine the 5% of the cavity is filled by a, a gel sticking on the wall I, if we repeat next year another input of water and we we add another five percent so we can add more and more solution inside the cavity and this uh, the solution cannot go out because it's more dense than when we enter so it's more sticky and stay inside so the evaporation in interest all the water and the, the the silica material rest inside so in with this process we can fill completely the cavity and we can stay in this situation after that we can uh, starting a reaction between uh, the uh, cavity wall and the chalcedony growing filament of moss from from the top falling down so this process can start mm, at the beginning when the uh, <coughs> the film of uh, gel chalcedony was thin so we, we can start the first input of <coughs> sorry of moss and uh, so these two processes are together but uh, we can arrive at the situation when the uh, cavity is not completely filled like this one and um, there is a dry uh, season and uh, there is not uh, so much water that allow the uh, the cavity to be completely filled uh, with solution and uh, the the moss to, to grow until the center so mm, the the gel stop here but the reaction at the wall continue and uh, it continue to form uh, moss always in the same uh, point and so in this way the moss become growing become more thick and more structured like plume or dendrite so in this case mm, we make the plume that we will see in the next chapter <coughs>